What is going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption Part or Two, the prequel. Uh, last episode, we got into Chapter Two, and we learned that we we're basically having our own little settlement for right now, as long as we don't go too crazy and kill everybody. Morning, Mr. Morgan. So, we have plenty of options here. We can go hunting. Hunting's always a good option. Um, we also have a little bit of extra things we could do. So I think the first thing we're going to do... I'm a little outfit here. Uh, check back again around noon. Hey, Dutch. Okay there, Dutch. The Dutch started to and nobody's shooting at me. A marked improvement. Indeed. Alright. Uh, looks like we have plenty of options to do. So, the horse will not follow me at the green camp. Okay, let's go towards the uncle. Good like day, the best boy. idea. And Uncle's asleep, what a surprise. Ow! Whoa, whoa! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. OK, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Through the relief and take off that. I guess these are a form of prostitutes. Yep. I mean, I can think of. Lady! Sing us a song. Lumbago. It's very serious. All right. Oh my What's God. going on? Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Here, Mr. Horsey. Let's not run. I don't know why I'm being a good guy. Hey, hey! He 
Easy, you're all right. Let's go. That was easy. Yeah. There's a little bit of a challenge there. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Hey, I mean, honor's a good thing. Go in by. Only still when you have to, right? Come on, let's go! To Valentine! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> Valentine. Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. I sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Drugs. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. <laughs> Park up down the end there, near the stables. You know, taking that to the... Will he remember that? Probably not. Whew. Wouldn't believe it. Nice Probably not it. indeed. <laughs> All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Mm -hmm. Okay, just stay out of trouble. and Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Well, I imagine Paris and Valentine. So that's how you see Uncle. yourself, is it? A maniac? I don't want to fall off oh, yeah, lady. In my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> but I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. A good old fashioned so, store. What do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellas. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Browse catalog. Let's what this does. Canned food, fresh food, tobacco, not too bad. We don't have that. Hunting and fishing. Let's see what we got here. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The Predator lamb's bait, the best in the cricket, state. I don't know coffee. what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right.
It's all done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellers. Force reviver. Actually, I wonder if I can sell that stuff to them. All of that. I'm not that interested in coffee. Fine brandy. Cigars were very uh, useless. Go ahead and head out. Okay. What else can we do in this town, Uncle? Huh? Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Ooh, we're gonna be the best. Oh, you. you can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been all. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You wanna find out? Is he gonna duel with me? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Search the hotel for Karen. Okay. Don't be that bad. All right here, folks. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Alright, let's go. He was going on a feeling that... No trouble now, please! This won't end well for somebody. Hey! How are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Uh. 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 That's what happens. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just man but stupid bastard stupid bastard was boasting about the bank the bank sure i know small town banks are usually a waste of time but this is a livestock town there's lots of cash sometimes okay keep investigating 
I will. After you. After me, okay. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get... I don't like this. I don't like this. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Man. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. I'm begging you. Go be a nice guy. All right. Come on. Now throw him off. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> a steel pen? But I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this here old mind. Really? That's the end of the mission? You have a nice day now, sir. That's kind of weird yeah. how they just ended it randomly. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna head in the town for a little bit. And see what else we can do in the town. Hey! My horse! Whew. Am I glad to see Hello, you! Sir. Here's your horse back, friend. Oh! You really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. There. Uh. Trust your gut, folks. Step right up. Welcome back. Did something slip your mind before? All right, let's see. Plants and herbs. Let's go see. Oh my God! What's this 
think it's with the uh, screen. You see that? Hey, mister. Need some? No. Back for some more provisions. Uh, I'm not too worried about this. I'm trying to figure out this giant eel my map is. Alright, so I don't want to come into the store. Hello? How's that one coming? Barbershop.